Hello my friends, this is next episode of my YouTube show Lead Code with me, where we solve coding challenges. I am Alexander Bermin, you're on my channel and we begin. So, what's in the agenda for today? Today we will convert integers to Romans. Let's get started and go ahead. Okay, let's get started. Roman numerals are represented by seven different symbols I, V, X, L, C, D, and M. For example, 2 is written as uh, e, e in Roman numeral, just two ones added together. 12 is written as X, uh, Y, Y, which is simply X plus uh, 2. Number 27 is written similarly. Uh, Roman numerals are usually written largest to smallest from left to right, however, the numeral 44 is not for i's, instead the number 4 is written as uh, iv. So, uh, let's try to solve this coding challenge in the simplest possible way, just keeping in mind that um, some values can be represented differently and that this is not a positional numeral system. So, let's start with writing a uh, an array of values. For example, for uh, one, from numbers from 1 to 9, it can be something like 1, 2, 3, uh, 4, 5, 6, 7, uh, 8, and uh, 9. Okay, for uh, dozens. It's quite similar, and this will be the most simple, the simplest solution, I think, without any math and logic or anything. So this is 50, uh, 60, 70, 80, 90, next hundreds. Let me copy-paste, because it is quite similar. I don't really like copy-paste, but... Tick, 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 ta 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 and thousands. One thousand, two thousand, three thousand. Okay, so I can right now I have one, two, three, four arrays for uh, for numbers from zero, from one to nine, from for dozens, for hundreds, and for thousands. And what else I need to do? Uh, let's um, imagine the number one, three, two, three, four. So what does it mean? It means that I need to take, uh, for example, let's go from right to left. 4 from a, a, an element with 4th position in the array, uh, um, in the first array, 3 in uh, element with in 3rd position from the 2nd array, and element with 4th position from the 3rd array, and the element with the 1st position in the M array. Okay, how can we extract this from uh, this number one two three four five. Okay, so in order to get the last one number what we need to do We need to take this number now and you take a rest from division by ten Okay, uh, what do we need to do in order to extract uh, dozens from that? We need to divide it by uh, 100 and uh, next uh, Divided by 10 again. So in this case, we're taking, let's say, rest of division by 100. So in this case, if we divide it by 100, it will be rest of division, it will be 34. And next divided by 10, it means that I'm taking only the most left character. So uh, roughly speaking, it's 34 divided, 34 divided by 10. And uh, we convert 3 and 4 to integer, it will be just 3. 
Okay, so what I need to do in order to get number of hundreds, uh, really similar, I need to take a rest of division by 1000 and next divide it by 100. So in my case it will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, my number 1234 divided uh, by 1000. So rest of division will be um, 2, 3, 4 and next I need to divide it by 100 and it will be 2. And here what I need to do, quite similar, I need to um, divide it by 1000, so two, 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 divide by 1000, it will be 1. And the result of uh, my computation, the result of this uh, challenge, the result of the computation will be quite simple, uh, plus C array uh, num divide by 1000 and next by 100 plus uh, x uh, it will be num divide by oops I think I can I put it wrong here it will be x and next c and c x yeah uh, divide by 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 divide by by take rest divide by 10 and plus e num voila okay uh 300 output let me double check if i did everything correctly uh, array for C's, yeah, just a typo here. Let me submit it. Voila, it works, it's a very stupid but still um, suitable solution. Let's try to come up with better option. The better option would be based on the idea that in Java we have data structures which allow us to do well, similar computations, but easier. So what can we do? We can utilize tree map and let's add all the parts we need into the tree map. So as you may see, it is quite similar. And in this case, I added uh, some values into it. So I added 1, 4, 5, 9, 10, 40, 50, 90, 100 and so on. And um, the next option is based on uh, the idea that actually flat map has a quite useful function which is called floor key. The floor key function allows us to get the highest uh, the highest key which is closest to the given number. So for example if I have a, a key 4 and I need to get a value, uh, let's say, uh, I, I need to get a value uh, uh, 5, or maybe I have, a, I have all these keys and I need to get a value 5, it will return me 5. In case if I need to get value 4, it will return me 4. In case I need to get a value 3, uh, the closest is 4. And next, what it means for us, it means that, okay, there is no key for 3, so that, what I need to do, I need to take one more iteration and um, uh, subtract uh, some value from my number. So in case if I manage to find a full match, so in case if there is a, for example, key for one, four, five, nine, and my target number is exactly that, it means that I found um, a Roman number for that. If not, what I need to do, I need to uh, recursively call this function for lowered value. So for example, if I need to find 3, there is no 3 in my map, what will I do in this case? Okay, I will take a key which is available for me, which is closest key. So for free it will be uh, 
let's say the closest lowest key uh, uh, it will be one and next I uh, decrease my number by one and try to find another Roman number which corresponds to my integer so just iteratively subtraction values okay works quite better that's it for today thank you very much for watching my video don't forget to give me a like subscribe to my channel and write a comment see you next week bye